Imagine if no change in our world went unnoticed and unmeasured. Imagine if we could build a digital clone of our physical world that was getting refreshed in real time. Imagine if we could have seamless and automated interactions between our physical and our digital world such that you could set a trigger that involved not just events in the digital world, but it could also be triggered and acted out in the physical world. Let me give you an example. Imagine you could monitor all the ports and all the shipping lanes in the world all the time in real time, and you could set the following logic that was working for you in the background. If there are more ships than container capacity, then increase trucking support. If that's not possible, move some of the ships in this shipping lane to this other shipping lane to this other port, optimize for ETA. You'll be able to catch issues and potentially prevent supply chain disruptions from happening in the future. In 2019, on this same stage, a company called SailDrone told you about deploying sensors in the ocean to collect valuable measurements in real time. There has also been a significant growth in quantity and quality of terrestrial sensors in the last few years. However, the next frontier that is now becoming accessible is space. And sensors from space have a truly unique vantage point. They are needed for us to have a connected world. In fact, to make truly global decisions based on global information, you need global access all the time. For this, space is the missing link. Over the last six years, we've been designing and building some of the most sophisticated satellites on our planet. We can track changes on the surface of our planet to millimeter accuracy. These are powerful satellites. And these satellites have some magical capabilities. We can take images through the storm at night in all conditions. It gives us reliability and it gives us visibility into our planet in all conditions. That's a fundamental requirement for getting to real-time monitoring. In fact, this picture of George Washington Bridge was taken three in the morning on a stormy night from space. We have five of these satellites orbiting Earth right now, and we're launching more and more and more of them in the coming quarters. As we launch and scale our constellation, we're going to be accumulating a lot of data. In fact, over the coming years, we're going to have more than 500 petabyte of data getting accumulated coming down from space from our satellites. That's a lot of data. Handling that much data at scale is a challenge on its own. But it's an even greater challenge when you combine our data with data from other space sensors, other terrestrial sensors, and other ocean sensors. In order to lay the groundwork for integrating our sensors with other sensors in real time with low latency and low reactivity, we had to build our business on a completely different foundation than traditionally has been tried before. We had to think about so many things. We had to think about a distributed network, no human in the loop operations with full automation, real time processing of data unlimited storage and processing power, and instant scal scalability. This is why we work with AWS to enable this future. We needed a company that could support us with resiliency, could scale with our constellation and demands, could support our automation, and by the way, do all of this in real time. So 500 petabyte of data, no problem scaling that out on S3. A flurry of new hurricane images coming down, casual with just auto-scaling infrastructure on EC2. And if we need that hurricane image even faster, that's pretty simple. We'll just grab the next pass at the AWS ground station. And the AWS ground stations are integrated into the AWS fabric. They're also in close proximity to the data centers, which means the data from our satellite to the ground station 
through the secure VPC, getting into the cloud happens within milliseconds. And with our entire system on AWS and our platform built on a robust API, ordering imagery from space is like ordering food from your favorite food delivery app. Fully automated and with no human interactions. Let's just take a look at how easy it is to request an image from one of our satellites. You pick a location of interest. Let's pick Las Vegas and literally Three clicks into it, you've tasked the satellite. We take care of the last. The satellite goes over the areas of interest, collects imagery, comes over the ground station, dumps the data down, the data goes to the cloud, gets processed, and boom, you've got, you've got the data for your consumption. And here's the best news about it. This is all on an open API, which means you are one API call away from accessing a global network of extremely powerful satellite sensors. That means if you want to automate your end of this process, you can use our open API and just blend us into your workflow. Let me just emphasize that. You are literally, right now, while sitting in this room, one API call away from a global network of powerful satellites. This is game changer. Machine-to-machine -machine operations and full automation are together the fundamental catalyst for taking action in the digital and in the physical world. So let me just tell you a few stories from this year where machine operations led to humans taking better decisions. Oil spills were detected using our imagery automatically. Chinese dam failure was verified using our imagery automatically. Volcanic researchers identified new vents by peering through the smoke of an ongoing eruption automatically. Local agencies were informed of deforestation in Amazonia automatically. And of course, during Hurricane Ida, our satellites were monitoring the daily progression of the hurricane and flooding through the clouds and storm day and night and pushing out updates in real time to our customers automatically, and many, many, many more. I'm sure you can tell we're really, really excited about this capability. When I took the stage six, seven minutes ago, I opened by showing a conditional flow chart of setting triggers and connecting our physical to our digital world. Thanks to companies like AWS and Capella, that future is a reality today. So before I leave, I ask you all this, what would you do and what would you build if you were one API called away from seeing our planet and its billions of changes? Thank you very much.